Hi everyone, today we're making some pomsi tetel curry. Now, you traditionally would see a lot of mango to curry, but today I decided let's switch it up and do some pomsi tea. So this is like a sweet, gooey, ooey, stewed fruit. And if you can't find mango or pomsi tea where you live, you can use green apples for this recipe also. We're going to start with our water add salt and add in the fruit i chopped it up into small pieces and we're just going to boil this for five minutes this is what the fruit looks like now once you see the skin starting to come away from the flesh of the fruit you'll know that it's ready to be strained you'll go ahead and strain that and set it aside this is what it should look like you can see that the skin is starting to separate from the flesh. So I'm going to drain it, set it aside, and to a pot with oil, I'm adding in my methi or fenugreek seeds. And we're going to allow those to toast until they're dark brown in color. This happens really quickly, so you want to do this over a medium heat. And you do not want to burn the methi seeds because they tend to taste bitter when they're burnt. In goes chopped onions, pimento peppers, and hot pepper. The hot pepper is optional if you're cooking for children. And we're going to saute until it's light brown in color. Once the onions are tender and it's light brown, we're going to go in with some minced garlic. And allow that to cook for about a minute until the garlic is light brown in color. Do not put in the garlic because it will taste really bitter. Now I'm going to drop in the boiled fruit, skin and all. I'm going to add in a little bit of water here after I mix it in because I want to create a sauce and I want this to cook down further because we only cook it for five minutes. It's not going to get very, very soft, but it will cook down and you'll see as we continue. So I'm adding some salt and then I'll go in with my water. If you wanted to add more water, of course you can. Give that a mix. And now we're going to add in brown sugar, um, char masala, and jeera. It will look like a little bit now. And you can always adjust if you find the color is not where you want it to be. I'm going in with two tablespoons of amchar masala and one tablespoon of jeera. Mix that in. And now this is going to cook low and slow for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's where the color will start developing from the amchar masala and the jeera. You can't see it now. But allow it to cook and you will see the difference. Now look at it as it's starting to take on the color from the anchor masala. This still needs a lot more cooking so we're going to allow it to continue to cook until it's gooey gooey and dark black in color or black in color dark brown you see how it's looking here it has taken on that nice amchar mango color and all you have to do now is taste and adjust your salt you can add some green seasoning to this if you like it's totally up to you and then you simply enjoy as i said if you didn't have pomsi tea you can use green mangoes or you can use green apples so try this recipe this diwali let me know what you think Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out all of my other Diwali recipes along with my sweets. Have a happy Diwali. Bye everyone.